That was new. I know. Oh, I, like I like that. that. All right. He's a homegrown superstar on the music scene and Troy Trombone Shorty Andrews never forgets his roots or the help he received from the Crescent City musicians who played before him. Andrews makes it a point to give back during the holidays and he's given a brighter Christmas to hundreds of local kids. Mm -hmm. Amelia Strahan has more from the big event tonight at Warren Easton High School. Every year, Trombone Shorty takes a break from touring the country and comes back to New Orleans for the annual concert and toy drive, Tunes for Toys. Entry to the event was free with the donation of one toy for a night of tunes. I like that Shorty's going out of his way to give back to the community and use music for the healing purposes. The mission of the Trombone Shorty Foundation is to inspire the next generation of young people through music. Young people like Akil Haroon. I'm debuting, I'm making, making splashes, making a scene now. Following in Trombone and Shorty's footsteps, Akil knew he wanted to be a musician at just six years old. And my background's a young musician in New Orleans that a lot of different mentors and artists have just been pouring into. One of those mentors was his own father. We from a long tradition of artists, you know what I mean? And a lot of influences went to him being who he is. But yeah, I work hard at providing him the opportunities to shine. Grammy Award winner Diesel Harrison is another New Orleans artist who made it big. He says just living in New Orleans laid the groundwork for his career. And like music really saved my life. And being a part of that was great. And then coming up here, there was there were, you know, people walking down the street playing their horns, people with horns on the bus, people with horns standing on the corner. And success stories like these are why the Trombone Shorty Foundation holds events like Tunes for Toys. To say it's a birthplace of my dreams would be like it's a birthplace of so much that is, I love New Orleans. On Saturday, all of the toys that were collected will be donated to children in need. In New Orleans, Amelia Strahan, WWL, Louisiana. The toy giveaway will also be held at Warren Easton. It takes place from 1 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And Warren